Good morning to you. A brand new set. Hope you like it. The football cats had to deal with Dak Saturday and now they get to deal with a rocket science major. No, really. Tennessee quarterback Josh Dobbs is majoring in rocket science. The junior quarterback for the Vols having a nice year so far. 14 total touchdowns, nine in the air, five on the ground. Kentucky head football coach Mark Stoops sees similarities to Dak Prescott. They're both, you know, equally as talented, I would say, running it. You know, um, Dak is just throwing it so much more. You know, they're, they're just, uh, they're so, you know, they're just what they choose to do, I guess. But they both can throw it when they want to. But, uh, but uh, they're both uh, very elusive, very strong. You know, so it's a good combination. A big problem Butch Jones' team has had this season is closing out football games. The Vols have lost every game by six points or less. In two of their four losses, they had the lead going into the fourth quarter. Here's Butch. We have had opportunities to close games out, and unfortunately, we've come up short. And, you know, sometimes we could have closed games out maybe in the third quarter, or even the second quarter, not just the fourth quarter. But, uh, you know, I think some of it, I, I talked to a lot of coaches. Uh, you know, a lot of individuals said you know, sometimes it's a byproduct of lack of depth. Uh, when you have players playing 70, 80 plays, uh, the ability to close games out. But I think it's more mentality. Now, the Volunteers have won every game versus the Cats in the last three decades, except for one. Kentucky beat UT in 2011. Other than that, it's been all burnt orange. UT and UK kicks off at 7.30 this Saturday night. If you're not going, you can watch it on the SEC Network. Should be a great Halloween showdown. In this week's edition of Chalk Talk, Lauren Cash asked Freddie Maggard his thoughts on the Cats' loss to Mississippi State. And the former UK quarterback also gives his opinion on how talented the Vols are this year. Well, welcome in to a chilly edition of Chalk Talk. A little overcast here at Commonwealth <laughs> Stadium. Lauren Cash here alongside Freddie Maggard. Freddie, the Mississippi State game, real quickly, your analysis. Mississippi State, I, I didn't like a single matchup going into that game for Kentucky. Uh, all the veteran players on Mississippi State, the development, uh, the benefit of having bowl practices, red shirts across the board. Mississippi State started only one red shirt uh, freshman. The rest were juniors and seniors. Kentucky, the last uh, minute of the first half, the game got away from Kentucky, and at that point it was over. I think Dak Prescott uh, is not only the best quarterback in the SEC, but one of, if not the best quarterback in the country. And to, with Kentucky lacked a pass rush, and if you give a Heisman candidate and an All-American candidate like Dak Prescott that kind of time, he's going to find somebody open. And uh, Kentucky just could not maintain offensive flow, especially on first down. On six occasions on first down, Kentucky was penalized on three plays on first down and had three drop passes on first down. So in essence, when half your drives are starting at second and 10 or worse, then you don't give yourself a good chance to win the football game. Transitioning now to the Tennessee game this Saturday, you know, when you look at Kentucky and Tennessee this season, there's some similarities you can mm -hmm. draw within their schedule. Both have been in very close games, won some, lost some they maybe shouldn't have. You know, Butch Jones in his third season right. as his co Coach Stoops. What have you seen also maybe similarities or something that maybe Kentucky's closed the gap on with UT? Well, I think first of all, you have to look at the amount of talent on the roster. Tennessee has other than Georgia, probably the most future NFL players that Kentucky will see this year. Uh, the best football team Kentucky will play all year was Mississippi State. But you have to realize with Tennessee, the streak is a roughly, what, 30 years old? In a span of 30 years, Tennessee, the university, has outspent the University of Kentucky 100 to 1 in facilities. Kentucky is just now starting to catch back up. That has a lot to do with it, uh, but I think Kentucky has a chance to beat Tennessee. Both teams are fairly young. Both have lost close games. Tennessee has, has played a harder schedule with Oklahoma, Florida, Arkansas beat Tennessee. And then when the latest, the way Tennessee played against Alabama should be encouraging for volunteer fans. But both teams need this win. Kentucky to sustain and get edge closer to bowl eligibility. Many national uh, pundits are picking Tennessee to win out. So something's got to give on Saturday. I think Kentucky bounces back and plays much better. This is a better matchup for Kentucky than at Mississippi State. 
Kentucky looks to snap a two game losing streak and get back to 500 on the season with a win Saturday 730 kick time on the SEC network for Freddie Maggard. I'm Lauren Cash for WYMT Mountain Sports. All right, thanks guys. Hey, we have state sectional soccer highlights coming up next half hour. That's a first look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.